What's going on everybody? My name is Richard Sapp. I am the DIY Realtor. One of the things that we have to contend with a lot here in Central Florida and in Central Florida real estate transactions are wetlands. Wetlands are very important to the state. This is how a lot of the flooding and the rains are actually drained. It's so that they don't extend over into properties or into your house. They act as natural water filtration systems. So uh, actually cleaning the water as it drains and leaves the state. They act as uh, shoreline and erosion protection, making sure again that that water stays contained and doesn't erode anything that it's not supposed to. It's home to thousands of species of wildlife and animals and plant life. Uh, so for those reasons, they are protected areas. You're not allowed to build on them. And in fact, you're not allowed to build within a certain distance from them. And I believe that's about 50 feet. Don't quote me on that. So wetlands are very prominent here in Florida. And it's important to know if they're going to be impeding your property, uh, whether that's a piece of property that you're own, getting ready to sell or thinking about buying, it is important to look into them further. So today I thought I'd show you where to go to look them up so that the average person can check it out. It's very simple to do. It's not a, it's not a completely perfect uh, map where it shows it, but it does give a very good general idea. So if we start with a simple Google homepage and we type in National Wetland Mapper, it will bring us to this U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service website. And if we click on the top link here, Wetlands Mapper, you'll see once again that brings us to the National Wetlands Inventory. This probably uh, has a lot of useful information, but to be candid, I really just use it for the Wetlands Mapper to determine if it's even something that we need to look into further. So if we scroll down to about the bottom of the page, you can see that link there that's called Wetlands Mapper. And that will take you to this web page. Up in the top right hand corner, we can click Find Location. I grew up in Winter Springs, Florida, so let's check out Winter Springs. You can type in a property address and it'll take it to you. You can type in a city such as this one. And all of these dark green areas are the wetlands. If we zoom in, one of the things that I love about checking this out is seeing just how closely these developers build these neighborhoods and these houses up to these wetlands. It's almost like, um, well, it's not almost, they are perfectly carved out around the wetlands uh, to make sure that they are staying compliant and not destroying them. Now, uh, one thing that is often a misconception is that wetlands aren't necessarily wet. It doesn't mean that there's standing water in them or that it's marshy. It just means that they're protected because they could potentially, um, they're used for some of that um, rain fall uh, control and some of the uh, flooding control that happens here in Florida. So just because they're designated wetlands doesn't mean that they're wet. And just because this community here is surrounded by wetlands, it doesn't actually mean that it's prone to flooding uh, any more than a neighborhood that's not close to wetlands. Uh, that is a whole separate uh, video on finding your flood zone. But wetlands are just basically showing you where you can and cannot build and where it might be protected. So if we zoom in, you can see how closely they built these houses up to these wetlands. Now, obviously, again, I mentioned that this map isn't perfect. You can see that it's even cutting into uh, some of these individuals' homes and backyards. But this does come into play if you're thinking about putting in a swimming pool or you're thinking about extending a patio. And wetlands aren't necessarily in a perfectly straight line like this either. Um, this developer may have mitigated some to, to make this street here, but oftentimes they can be on 75%, 10%, 80% of your property, and you only have a little sliver that you can build on or that's actually considered dry and, um, and, and doesn't need mitigation credits. If you want to destroy the wetlands to build on them, you can do it, uh, but it is very expensive to do and you have to buy what are called wetland mitigation credits from a mitigation bank. Uh, so I hope this was useful. Whenever you're buying a property, whenever you're considering selling a property, it is very important to know where your wetlands are and whether it's going to affect you because it can have a very big effect on the value, oftentimes in the negative direction because it's not useful um, in terms of viable, buildable, usable land. Reach out anytime. Look forward to being a resource for you. Hope you have a good day.